Hey, that's pretty good. An excellent and faithful conversion of the iconic card game into a very welcoming computer free-to-play form. This is a hit. 100%? Yes. A great adaptation of one of the best card games of all time. It's fast, it's accessible, it isn't any less complex than the original. Are you bored of Hearthstone? Try Arena. Just try a little taste. This is the definitive magic experience on PC. It's free to play, but it's incredibly well balanced and lets us enjoy it without hassle. If you enjoy card based games, give it a try. Magic the Gathering is the grandfather of a lot of deck building games, but its introduction to the digital marketplace feels fresh, exciting and well worth their free price tag. Let's be honest. <laughs> MPG Arena is the best possible transposition of the historic card game. It's free, initially, at least, and it's wonderful, there's no reason to not try it. With its unique style, complicated and rewarding, it will charm any PCG lover. Be careful what you wish for. Magic the Gathering Arena is a good free-to-play game, with enough content to feed any magic lovers. It's not as easy to play than many others trading cars games, but on the other hand, those games don't have the same depth. Every new card, in every new set, has a mountain of text. Magic, the Gathering Arena is the perfect digital version of the real magic with all the pros and the cons. It's complex, very deep and extremely addictive but it requires to spend a lot of real money to be competitive. Oh, how much is this costing us? I don't even like this game. Magic Arena is a stellar addition to the Magic, the Gathering family. It's here to stay and the competitive landscape will likely be better for it overall as time goes on. While its monetization is a bit too aggressive for my liking, and the fact we really can't have full control over what we do with our cards bugs me, it's hands down the best digital magic experience wizards have implemented to date. But at what price, they ask, for what does it profit a man? To gain the world but lose his soul. Magic the Gathering Arena is an excellent entry point into the 26-year-old franchise for new players and lovable for veteran players as well. While it's generally a very fun experience, it's not without technical issues. <laughs> While the mechanics scream for an award, Arena suffers from aggressive miniaturization and the missing eternal formats. Kinda blows my mind, to be honest. The game is broken, if you create a deck you will only play mirror matches, and the Suffle system is worse as well. The random system in this game is horrible and I do not recommend playing this. That's gonna be a feel bad experience. Horrible iteration. It has been proven the shuffle is rigged and you will always play against the same three decks. The algorithm puts any deck you make against a deck that absolutely counters it. The packs cost nearly as much as paper which is resellable for a small fortune. This game should be dodged, it's far too dodgy and money hungry. It is, it's terrible, it's terrible. The biggest bunch of crap from the Google Milk Play Store I have ever played. This is capitalizing on players' wallets at its finest. Like, this is being roundly rejected. Absolutely appalling. It's absolutely ruined Magic the Gathering for me after 20 plus years. Fuck Wizards of the Coast. Everybody's angry wizards. When you place a card opponent usually has three spells to cast it away. Always happens I would stay away from this shit is ruining the game because the random card draw is just rigged as F. Is this a quality control issue, or is this intentional? Absolute dog shit algorithm. Not my fault I know how to play the game and others don't. I either draw 24 lands in a row or none for 20 turns. Statistically impossible, so thanks for that. You're taking a giant portion of the game away by rigging marches. And all I want to do is play a childhood game, but no. It's a sentiment being shared by older players who really appreciate the old school flavor of magic, going, this really doesn't feel like magic to me anymore. Just buy a cheap commander deck and go to your LGS. Don't waste your time on this dumpster fire. It's so hard to play on Arena. This game sucks. The card balance needs to be fixed. There will be days where I can't win a game. Wizards of the Coast needs to be better. Wizards of the Coast is just a hilariously and horrifically inept company. I play paper magic, 
mostly Commander and I hate this version of it. The game is rigged ladies and gentlemen, pure and simple. If you don't believe me just play, let's say 10 games in a row. You will witness situations so over the top it's laughable. And if by some miracle you actually win 5 or 6 games in a row, that's when the circus starts. Odds of probability? Yeah, right. Wizards are corporate shills for Hasbro now. All that matters is the bottom line. Wizards of the Coast is a bloated corpse, and Magic the Gathering is a crippled calamity. Professional critics are worthless hacks that have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to reviewing games. The users are always on the receiving end and their opinion should count. Alas it never was and never will be the case. Go fuck yourself Hasbro. Same for WotC. Hate you both and hate this game. Wizards basically has broken everybody's trust. Piece of garbage game, couldn't rate it low enough. The biggest offender for me is March making. Constant mirror matches or just perfect counters to your deck. Lose 4 games in a row and be grateful for getting a pity win over someone that had to mulligan down to 4 or just quits 20 seconds into the match. Opponents always top deck perfectly to turn the match around. If you think, no way he top decked a board wipe. Just guess what's in his hand. Uninstall. It's so frustrating. What could be said that hasn't been said already by the scores of unhappy people critiquing this game? It's a tedious chore to play if you want your daily gold done and you have to lose a set number of games whatever the makeup of your deck might be. It's rigged harder than a Vegas casino. Thoroughly not enjoyable. People are upset. This game will make you hate Magic the Gathering if you ever held any affection for it. Play at your own risk. I've said many times before that I wish they would go back to the old way. I hope you know by now that you shouldn't believe any of these shill critics and fake reviews that actually endorse this game. If you've ever played Paper Magic and have decided to play this trash game a few very important things will become evident quite fast. Arena is laughably and obviously rigged. The shuffler, the matchmaking, the cards in the booster packs and the games themselves. Do yourself a massive favor and never play this garbage. It might actually kill your affection for the IRL version. Obviously I'm cynical because I'm hurt. Yeah, this game blows big time. 25 lands in your deck, no lands drawn in 4 to 5 turns. 19 lands in your deck, get flooded for 4 to 5 turns. Toxic community, shady business practices from Watsi and don't expect to have fun playing the game. But please, don't forget spend some money in the shop on your way out. Because that's literally my experience as well. The game gives an idea that it could be fun when you start but it is just very harsh and not enjoyable when you really get into it. It's so hard to play on Arena. This game is really bad. I could give you an explanation of how and why but I don't need to. When you start this game it tricks you into thinking it is fun and cool with an intro that is not at all what the actual game is like. Then you get into it. And the real game is awful. You'll feel it. Go ahead. Go suffer. <sighs> Absolutely random donation dumb. Artificially complicated and incredibly boring. Waste of time and money. Do not play this trash game. Do not give wizards your money. Force them to fix it. The matchmaking is garbage. The economy is garbage. The interactions do not work how they should. It is pay to win not only because you need to build a collection, but it's pretty blatantly obvious that if you pay more money the game favors you. As far as cash grabs go, it's 100% that. Do not waste your time and spend your money on the physical game or if you need to play MTG online, play the online variant and not this dumpster fire. You've got a number of different aspects that people are unhappy about. When a game's storefront is updated daily but bugs are left unfixed forever, then I have an issue. And that is the state of magic right now. Pay to win game. It algorith will you won't open meta high used rares and mythic cards, and will get unfavorable matchups and draws unless you spend big bucks within the game. Extremely frustrating. There are a bunch of angry magic players. This game caters to whales really hard. The shuffler algo is broken and will not be fixed even though they have been told too many times. The support team is a joke only copy, pace responses game is full of cheaters as well and yes you can cheat the game. 
I love the real card game but this shell shit is a joke even the mechanics are broken. Stay away from this game. Wizards of the Coast customer service continues to be an absolute travesty. Unplayable mess stuffed with predatory monetization and bad consumer practices. Bugs are rampant, server issues and constant crashes. God damn it. The game is horrible. It predetermined whether you will win or lose before the match even starts. You can play 10 games and it will give you 3 mana in 11 turns each game. Even if you pay anything for the game, you will still lose. It is a complete cash grab. Nobody should play this game for learning purposes because it will teach you that no matter what, you'll lose. I'm losing my patience. After three years what C decided ruin every eternal format in arena with forcing players to stupid alchemy cards. <laughs> Completely predatory game model. Don't start playing this game unless you want your wallet fucked by greedy corporate scum. Magic the Gathering is fun, but with unbearable bad optimization and algorithm rigged shuffler, it's not worth your time.